You mentioned about people in America, schools in America, still borrow your medals to show kids in school to say, you know what, guys, this lady won that. Okay, you can aspire, you could be that lady, you can even better what she's done. So that's going on in America. And now you wonder about your home country, Nigeria. Yeah. Things like that don't really happen. We don't really, we tend to forget our heroes. We forget people that brought us, you know, glory. Um, at some point, when you go to these schools in the States, how do you feel sometimes when you see things like that happening? And then back home, I mean, I mean, people born after 1996, I'm sorry to say, not a lot of them really know who Fatima is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, here in America, sports is, is, um, is, is like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking for the word now. Probably a religion. It's a, a, thank you. PE and, and all that stuff, because not all the kids who participated in sports are going to make it to the Olympics. Sure. But they will take something away from it that will help them through life as they age. So we Nigerians back home, we need to start to look, I mean, we need to start to think like that. You said no, not many people know who Fatima Yusuf is. Not just me, a lot of our great athletes, these young people have no idea who they are. Then what happened? Who is not teaching them the history? The teachers, the coaches, the administrators? They don't know their history. And it is sad. If they know their history, that Fatima Yusuf, Falila Gugukoya, Bisi Aladefa, um, Bisi of uh, Falabi, Charity Okpara, won uh, a silver medal at the Olympics, that we need to go get that record. That record is way too old. They don't know we've been there before. If you ask some of the Nigerian athletes, they have no idea that Nigerians have, have won silver medal in the 4x4, four four, that we have two people that made it in the final of the 400 million. History, well, I, I, I believe, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. I don't think they're teaching them history. It should be part of our curriculum. The coaches should be advocated in a way they should be using us as an example to encourage these youngsters that, hey, they've done it. I want you to go there, meet their goal and surpass it. It's not being taught and there's nothing anybody can do about it. It's not being taught. Would you, would you say, I'm sorry to cut you short now, would you say mm -hmm. it could be probably because there's that divide, okay, they're over there. They're not Americans, mm -hmm. they're British, they're Europeans. Oh, they're doing their stuff over there. Let us do our stuff over here. And there's that divide. Would you say that that's that's a problem? I, yes and no. There is still a foundation that every single country has to follow. That is the development of the youth. There is no way around it. But Nigeria wants to go around it. Look where we are. We have to go back to where it works. We have to go back to the drawing boards. How did we make it? How, how did we get here? Which is the youth. So everybody in the, in, in this in, in, uh, all these sports in, in, in the world, they go back to their grassroots. But in Nigeria, we don't. So that, that foundation never changes. The way you, you, you attain it is different, but the goal and the means of getting it is still the same. At least in my in my in my view, in my belief, we have to go back to school sports. We have to empower all those PE headmasters, headmistress. We have to empower them. We have to bring them on board. We have to support them because they are the ones that have the first-hand knowledge of these kids when they come to their classes. We have to teach them how to, how to talent identify. Who do they need to contact after they have to identify this kid? We don't have that system. And that was a system that actually really worked for you and your colleagues back in the days because a lot of you were picked up from the schools um from from um schools competition and then drafted into the national teams uh it was the same for the athletes and also for the for the footballers and why do you think we are failing or we are we, we fell by the wayside it was the norm before we had a foundation before which produced the likes of you and other ones but along the line we, we sort of dropped off it 
why would he say um, we missed it? Or why did we drop off it? I believe people want a quick fix. <laughs> they don't want to do the dirty job. Coaching a youngster is the dirty job. It doesn't bring any glory. Mm. It takes time for the fruit to ripe. Yeah. So they wait <laughs> until this yeah. child is an adult. And or in between that, there is no training. There is no foundation instilling these kids. Mm. So it's because there is no glory. It's a quick fix. They're putting Band-Aid on the wound. It doesn't help. Nobody wants to do the dirty job. We should be having a lot of youth clubs all over Nigeria, all over. We don't, we don't have it. In America, we do. I have a youth club. My youngest one is five years old. You should see him run with perfect form. Wow. And I, I, that child have a higher chance of making it than a child who doesn't even know anything, who has never been taught. So coaching youth in Nigeria is a dirty job. There is no incentive. Therefore, coaches don't, don't go through that route. So would you, would you say the problem now is um, if we are going to lay, well, I, I don't, I don't want to use the word lady blames on, this, on the footsteps of anyone, mm -hmm. but would you say the government, back in the days we used to have an NSC, Nigeria Sports Commission, which was mm -hmm. brilliant. And obviously they, 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 they worked with the Ministry of Education to get mm -hmm. people like you, and um, you, you know, after you, NSC was like, you know, whatever, it went whatever way. Would you think, would you say we need a strong government sports policy, okay, to enable, all right, people like yourself, mm -hmm. like so many others scattered around the world, rebuild sports again, going back to that foundation of coaching the coaches and obviously supporting schools and youth clubs to get to where we should get to, where we now build a factory to produce all these youngsters. Would you say that's the right way? Absolutely. Um, the policy are in place. There's nothing wrong with the policy. People just stop enforcing it. People stop applying it. Those policies still work. Maybe we, maybe we may need some updates. We don't need another committee to set up another policy so we some time and money. We have it in place. Let's see what is what worked then and what didn't work and let's fix it. We don't need to reinvent the wheels. It has been done for us by awesome, awesome good administrators. I'm not gonna name, I'm not gonna name any name here right now. Yeah. But at the same time, we need the government because sponsorship, they've been born. The trust has been lost. Lack of accountability, lack of checks and balances. If I'm a business owner, I ain't giving my money to no one who is not willing to, to show me how they spend my money. Why would I want to do that? So we need to rebuild trust. I believe we have tons of men and women, business owners in Nigeria who love sports and they're willing to support. But we got to assure them that what we say we're going to use their money for is what we're actually going to do with their money. And, 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 and for us not to wait for them to ask us, to show us, to show them our books, how did we spend it? Did we spend it on, on the things we said we're gonna do? So we have a lot of rebuild. We have a lot of, um, um, we have a lot of fixing to do. And we need a good, we need awesome people with like-minded that love the sports to do it, to be our face. We need to, we have all these old people running our sports with old ideas that has failed us and they continue to be there. Why? They need to go. We need new, fresh faces, fresh, new ideas. We have them in Nigeria. <laughs> we have people who can get the job done, but the roadblocks, <laughs> how mm. are you going to cross it? But we will cross it. Yeah. The, revolution is, the, the revolution is starting. Hopefully, yes. We will it, cross is starting. It. it is starting. And I believe good days are ahead for Nigeria. Amen. I say amen to that. Um, um, few few episodes ago, we had um, 